This book is a book um, that always facing the situation, um, beginning in his early years during the World War II, and not ending in the 80s um, when AIDS um, comes like a bomb in the scene in, and not only the gay scene in Paris. Um, and the book is full of anecdotes like this in 1959 when Daniel de Fer um, entered the Fiacre, Fiacre is right, Fiacre in Paris, in this, in, in this time a world famous gay bar, and behind the doors he met a man named Roland Bart, and during the talk Bart offered his telephone number to Daniel de Fer, and it was something like a double initiation in the gay world and in the intellectual sphere in Paris during the following 60s. But um, I would like to start uh, in an earlier phase of your life. You, you write about um, the importance of the word or event of liberation or befreiung in your early youth in a concrete sense. Could you describe these situations on your family too and the places on which it was this this liberation comes in your life. <laughs> so um, your question, yes, is um, this book is not written by me. I don't like to write. I love to speak. <laughs> I'm teacher, and um, I dictated the book. And uh, so uh, the person who were doing the interview were surprised by the fact that liberation was coming a few times in my discourse. And I said, why it's so important? And of course, the first liberation was the end of the war. And during the war, uh, there was also something which you referred to. Uh, my mother was born Jewish but uh, she uh, was abandoned and she had no Jewish education. So her experience in France was just experience on anti-Semitism. And she always resented that as living as a paria. And so the first time I was confronted to the fact that I was for the others gay, at that time we did not say gay, but pédé in French, it's the uh, equivalent to food in, uh, it was slang at that time, it was not yet politic. And uh, so I was passing in the street with my mother. I was 13, I suppose, and uh, I was looking at the people sitting at the terrace in a cafe, and someone shouted, PD. And I think it's the first time it was shouted to me. And uh, I was close, I was. My mother had given my, um, the arms to my mother, and she took me very close to her. She said nothing, but I understood. She was on my side. I think it's the uh, reason why I felt always rather solid on that issue. And uh, so uh, my friend said, but liberation is the first Liberation, liberation the, the, the end of the war, which was a strong souvenir for me. 